Hello, that's Heli from SevereWeatherTV.com with the Severe Weather Outlook for July 30th. So what is happening in the Northwest Pacific? Two different tropical storms are long and nacre in central in the Central Pacific, Genevieve. In Mexico, there's a possibility today for intense rains in these orange zones and the possibility for strong to very strong rains in a lot of the country today. The United States, we'll talk about the, where the actual threat is. Well, actually, I believe it's here and here. Basically, where's our sea text? Everybody else is general thunderstorm threat. In Canada, severe thunderstorm watch up here. Severe thunderstorm warning down there. Here is what is happening tropical cyclone-wise. So we still have this tropical or tropical depression, Genevieve, who's too far from land to be a threat at the moment. They are actually forecasting some restrengthening on that. However, land hazards... Along, there was what the typhoon warning was in effect as recently as yesterday. However, on the good side, flash flood watches and advisories for high surf and small craft. Small craft, I think, is basically for what? Out in the marine type areas for winds. But all of these um, watches or advisories, no warning. So that's good. However, Nakri is out here. And in Japan, they have, let's go back to the main thing. All of these red zones, I believe, are for warnings for high waves. That seems to be what the warnings are for. And, of course, there's also the watches, advisories, where they call it advisories for thunderstorm, gale, things like that. But I believe all of the red areas at the moment, high waves. That is what is happening with that storm. In the United States, here's an overview of the severe thunderstorm threat for the next few days. Friday's kind of interesting looking because basically the entirety of the country, almost is covered in some sort of thunderstorm threat, not necessarily severe, of course. Here's a map showing what's happening at this very moment. Two severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for Wisconsin. We should zoom out a bit. There you go. For some context. In general today, 2% chance for a tornado on this area, or in this area, between Oklahoma and Texas, right? 5% chance for the 58 mile per hour greater winds, and pretty much in the exact same area, 5% chance for the one inch larger hail. Tomorrow, 5% chance for this area up here. And yeah. And that is it for today. And hopefully you're staying safe out there.